Hi guys, welcome to FA channel. If you're new here, welcome. This channel is all about celebrate art, technology, and creativity. Every week, we're updating new videos about exciting virtual experience, some new learning process, and always seeking for new things for it to enhance you guys' virtual experience. And the most important thing is to have fun. The other day, we're talking about if someone want to use their avatar to do a Zoom call or like video conference, is there a way to do it with Mac? How it works? So we did a couple of tests and we want to show you in this video. Let's get started. Before I start, I just want to confirm. I personally use Mac because I have you. I've been using Apple for since I started using computer. If you're using 3D avatar VR, you you know that Mac is not the best option. It doesn't really have great software to support 3D avatars. So when I do my recording, go to VR, I usually use Windows. But for this episode, we want to test with Mac because I'm sure a lot of people still using Mac. But make sure you have the Mac Pro or MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air connect with external GPU. That's what I'm doing today. And then, as you can see later in the background, you will see when I do all these tests, I also have to do screen recording at the same time. So the process, the so the the recording is a bit laggy. If you have a MacBook Pro, it might be. Like faster when you're using Zoom call or anything like that. I don't. I'm not hundred percent sure, but this is like completely a test that we want to help with people who have Mac, doesn't have Windows. How you can use, like the the strategy and then the ways to do video conference or streaming with your Mac. If you use the your avatar, do streaming and everything on a daily basis and for a long time, I still suggest you to get Windows PC or install Windows on your Mac. That could be easier. This is just like if you have if you want to have like a short video call or just just have fun testing it. And let's go take a look at what software you need on Mac. So basically, there's one, there's one basic software you need is OBS. OBS is the broadcasting software. It's an open source broadcasting software that you can both you can install on Mac and then Windows. A lot of people using that as a streaming software is really useful. I use this for my video recording as well. And then OBS have the virtual webcam plugin. So you can share the recording as webcam. We'll put a link underneath our video. Video, if you want to look into this software, is very useful if you want to use your avatar to do the recording. So the first test we we will doing we will do is using OBS with three tenon and then Zoom as the video conference software. When you use OBS, you can just add window capture. They will see show. They will show all the apps that you can choose to record from, and then you just choose whatever app you need. For example, at this, at the first example we're showing is using Three Tenant. On the Three Tenant app, we are trying to lower the resolution because you want to make sure your video is smooth. Depends on the specs on your computer, you can choose whatever resolution suits the most. At this point, we, again, like we are recording screenshot, so we have to make the resolution as low as possible. And then, yeah, as you can see, I can track my face with three tenant and use webcam as OBS. Yeah, the second one we're trying is Wide IO. Wide IO is the app that I always use on my iPhone, so you can track your face from your through your phone, also open on your desktop. And then using OBS as the same process when you use three tenon. When you use wide IO, there's one point you need to remember is when you're importing your VRM avatar file, make sure you put the VRM file in documents 
in the in Mac documents and then name it name it as default.vrm. So in this case, for the face tracking part, you're not using the webcam on your computer, not the built-in webcam, but you're using the iPhone. So if you use wide IO, you can use the perfect sync avatar. So maybe you can, yeah, I, I find that you can use like, you can have better face tracking with this, with this software for sure. There's another way to do it is using QuickTime on your Mac. Connect with your iPhone to track your face. So all you need to do is connect to iPhone with your Mac, allow the access, and then the QuickTime, you will just see the new, uh, new recording and change camera, change camera to iPhone. You will see like directly the iPhone, will, iPhone screen will show up on your screen. And then and then you can capture with OBS. Hmm. In this way, you can use any apps that on your iPhone to track your face. If you wondering what kind of app you can use, we have a whole video about the, I think it's a five face tracking apps that you can use with your iPhone. So yeah, whatever you feel, com what, whatever, whatever app you feel comfortable with, you can use that. And then so iPhone, QuickTime, OBS. So we, we checked everything. It seems like with these three strategies, you can use for Zoom, Google Hangout, um, and Skype, it all works. But with FaceTime, it's really tricky. So FaceTime doesn't allow any software to recognize as a webcam. I think it might be the security reason we're not 100% sure. But for example, if you want to use the Snap Camera, Epoch, like anything we tried, they just basically don't have the option. Maybe in the future they will have, I'm not sure because we know that during the web Apple conference, they're announcing they have new updates for FaceTime. Seems like they want to take over Zoom and other, uh, other software do video conference, but we're not sure about that. So we'll keep you updated. At this point, uh, FaceTime is great if people, I think it's great for people who doesn't want a complicated process with, uh, for, for, for video call. I think that's one of the advantage. So in our cases, if you want to do um, video meeting with, with people online or, or like online interview, those things with your avatar this is the best way we can do we we can find at this point but we will keep up keep you updated and we will keep searching if there's any other way please go test with your own computer because every specs is different and while we're doing it is very slow because we're doing the screen recording when we turn off the screen recording it's actually working pretty well so but you but still like I don't think if I can, if I have to do the uh, video conference for like one hour, I think it will slow down. But if you have MacBook Pro or Mac Pro, I'm pretty sure you will be faster. But how much better? I'm not 100% sure. Still Windows better for the, for this purpose. Go test out. The, for, for those of you who only have Mac and iPhone, test it out. I think it's OBS is the best tool. That's for sure. If you don't know about this tool, you should definitely go um, download it. I still like Apple a lot because of the design, I think, but Windows definitely works better for VR, for PC VR and everything. I hope in the future Mac can do something about it because a lot of people who love design art will use Mac. And then in you have to make VR more accessible, right? Not everyone have the gaming PC, so hopefully they will do something about it. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope it's helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. Thank you for all your support. We'll answer your questions as soon as we can. Promise. Thank you. Take care. Bye.